Labor Day morning, and I'm finally on my way to Nationals. Of course, that finally part comes from waking up two hours late because I forgot to set my alarm. So it looks like I'll be there right about 2.30. I was hoping to get there a little bit earlier, but it's not going to happen. But I did set a little challenge for myself. I wanted to see if I could make the whole trip without stopping for gas. So it's 469 miles to Lincoln, and I've got a 26 gallon gas tank. So it seems like it should be possible, but at the same time, I get about 18 miles per gallon in this thing. So I just wanted to see if I could be careful enough with my gas usage and see if I can make the whole trip. Why are the hazards on? So this is a little game I call Bentley or Chrysler. Because the Chrysler 300 tries to look like the Bentley. So let's let it pass here for a second, and what do we have? It's a Chrysler. Still really haven't seen any corn, just trees and grass. Come on, Nebraska. That Civic's really seen some things. Econ mode for maximum efficiency. Definitely not corn. Tyler trailer on the back of a BMW? Wonder where that's going. And we're off to the elephant races. So I'm going a little over the speed limit, but that trailer's gotta be full of donkeys because he's all an ass. Now what are cows gonna do with a cement mixer? That's not really looking good. So unlike Jeremy Clarkson who can somehow drive across Europe on a single taking gas, I had to pull over on my way to Nebraska. So just a quick fill up and then back on the road. What is that option in the distance? Is that a bridge? Is it an overpass? Is it some type of building? Oh wait, no, it's the thing! I'm actually disappointed in how little corn I've seen in Nebraska, because that's all I ever hear about being from Colorado, is just how much corn there is. But I am surprised by just how many trees there are. There's tall trees, short trees, skinny trees, fat trees, dead trees, round trees, colorful trees, all those green trees, edible trees, uh, lonely trees, that's sad, pokey trees, mooing trees, leafy trees, they just got all kinds of trees. Oh, now I found the corn. Hey, that looks familiar. Uh, just taking it all in, enjoying the scenery of the corn. Just admiring it. Hey, hey, you've watched the view of the corn. Oh, it's finally time to exit. Uh, why is this leading me the wrong way with the traffic? I, 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 I don't know, I guess I have to turn here. Uh, okay, kind of makes sense, I guess. Still feel like I'm on the wrong side of the road. Um, but I, I'm just going with it. Oh, hey, look. I guess they were just as confused as I was. Ah, now it all makes sense. Alright, so I just pulled up and checked in with registration. I need to go find my co-drivers and figure out what's going on, what car I'm driving. I honestly have no idea at this point. But already, just the scale of this place is incredible. There's paddock for as far as I can see, uh, driving by it right now, and you can see here's the Miata tent, uh, multiple flags in the air from different regions. It's just incredible compared to a local event. There's just so much going on. So part of what made registration complicated is when I showed up, I figured out there was kind of a mishap at the Pro Solo from the weekend before. So somebody's car blew up and they actually had a pretty competitive chance, but without a car they were going to jump classes and they didn't really have a chance at a class. Maybe they did, I, I actually don't know. But I went ahead and sacrificed my seat in the Civic I was going to co-drive, that white one. Um, I just kind of knew that with a competitive field here I didn't exactly have a chance, um, which is kind of the wrong mindset, but I knew just this is my first year out I was going to win or anything. 
So I went ahead and sacrificed that spot, and somebody who was really graceful um, and very generous offered a co-drive in their CRX that they just had put together. So I'm here at the Test and Tune course, and even though I've been driving all day, it's not a big deal. I'm going to get a couple runs in and just try to get familiar with the car a little bit before official runs start tomorrow. So after fun runs, I was left to trying to set up my tent in the dark, and I did an okay job, I think. Um, it's kind of difficult. I can't put stakes in the concrete because they don't want to put holes in the in the pad, and I can understand that. So a little bit difficult. Um, I, I put weights in the tent to try to keep it from blowing away. And then the other thing, too, I tried to get a course walk in at, during the night before morning time so I could just kind of get a feel for the course as well. So trying to do a course walk in the dark maybe wasn't the best time to do it, but I did manage to squeeze one in. And at this point, this is the west course, and about half an hour before this was taken, I realized I was walking the east course the whole time. So I didn't read my schedule right, and I walked the living daylights out of the wrong course in the morning. So I ran over and I got one course walk in on this course, but definitely not as familiar with the course as I would like to be partially because I showed up late and that was because of waking up late and also I was just rock walking the wrong course so just kind of a whole mess um, something I was really glad I learned this year and supposed to next year so just getting all that out of the way I guess this is why you see people recommending not to tent at nationals. So I need to clean up this mess. I'm going to try to use my cooler and my water to see if I can support the tent a little bit better. So I'm going to clean up this mess and then go 
work my course assignment. So on my way to my work assignment, I wanted to ride my bike from one end of paddock to the other just to give you an idea of how insane this paddock is, just how many people there are here. So I started from my grid spot, which is about in the middle. So I'm riding out to one of the edges, and then I'm going to ride to one end of the paddock, and then all the way back, and you can just see just how extensive this really is. Okay, so it's right about this point, I'm realizing that as I speed up the camera, it's mostly just shaking as I pedal back and forth. But you can just see how it just keeps going and going and going. It takes about four minutes to ride your bike from one end to the other, although I'm riding about the speed limit they have posted, about 12 miles an hour. But still, it's just incredible. So second day runs on East Course now. And with this course, I have probably eight course walks in by this point, between walking the wrong course on the first day and just having more time after running and working yesterday to just kind of work at my own leisure. I felt a lot more confident now with this course because I could picture it mentally and remember what I should be doing on course while I'm out there. So we can see this too in this video where I'm closer to my best time on my first run as opposed to the first day where I had a technical DNF and then I was four seconds improvement between my first and second runs. So I went to the awards banquet just to show support and hang out with a couple of people from the local region and of course they didn't win anything but that wasn't the point. So I had a really fun weekend but it's just been kind of stressful since I wasn't prepared really and that first day out I was running late so I was just kind of running behind and frantic the whole week and didn't get enough course walks in. So definitely something to work on next year is just trying to learn to drive a little bit better of course that's what we're always trying to do and then also just coming better prepared and giving myself more time to get course walks in so time to head out and this time I'm gonna try the challenge again but I'm feeling confident this time so I'm gonna go fill up the tank completely full before I leave and since I'm not in a rush I think I can do a little bit better this time around well, it's going to be a sober drive home. I know my limits, you can break me down, but I'll stay till the finish line. And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now. Just to see you again And I